Hello to all my beautiful neighbors. Welcome to Own Brit's Block. I am Brit. As you come in, please like the video and thank everyone who has subscribed. It makes me feel great. And tell your neighbors and your family and friends to come on over and see what's going over going on on Brit's Block. And don't forget, I'm gonna say it again. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be informed. But y'all, I was just sitting around thinking, and I just want to share for you my thoughts. Well, my first thought is, how do you be in a one-sided beef with somebody who's not even paying you dust? I mean, you are fighting hard. I mean, it's a knockout drag out on your side. A whole TKO, and they not even paying you any attention. You're trying your best. You got red flags, neon flags, all kind of signs and say, look, look at me. I'm here. And they'll give you no attention. But then you get mad at everybody else because they give you attention. And ain't the attention that you want. You can't go out here being negative and everything else and think you're going to get positive attention. That's not going to work. You know, you get, you get what you give. And that's what you're getting. But then you get mad and try to strike the content creators and everybody else. You got Save Strongest Warrior in the comments, win middle for you. And you wouldn't have this issue if you were just stay in your lane. When you driving down the highway and you finna pass the car, you don't pass them from behind you. You get in the other lane. So that's what you need to do. Get in your lane and they stay in their lane. And my next thought is, if you decide that you're going to get on TV, whether it's um, reality, sitcoms, game shows, even um, soap operas, well, you're bound to be talked about because you're putting yourself out there on the worldwide TV and web for everybody to see. So you want people to be positive about everything you're doing but that's not going to happen so if you don't want to be talked about the best thing for you to do is get off of tv and then get off of social media go over tick over there on tiktok and play in their yard where nobody's really paying you too much dust over there you know you over here trying to i guess prove yourself and it's not working because none of us care about you and then my third thought is, now we saw last season on LMAH, one of the cast members got hooked up with somebody else and it caused a lot of commotion with them and their parent trying to go against and run, you know, running them with all these problems. Well, baby, you're doing the same thing, running over there. And I don't know if you don't think that the same thing can happen to you. That should have been a clue to, to stay off and over there. But I guess you figure because I'm I'm dishing not money to them, you know, I'm going to be all right. Well, what you need to do is dish them same dollars to them, to your bill collectors. Why would I pay somebody else when I got bills that's due? That's just like me going out here and going out here and eating and going out of town. And my mortgage due on my house. And I come back and wonder why I ain't got nowhere to live. I didn't use my money right. You so busy trying to outshine somebody else. So you're not worried about the things that you need to worry about. And it doesn't make any sense to me. Because that's your livelihood. But you want to worry about somebody else's business and what they doing their business and how they doing their business and whatever what all they got see in my opinion you will never get anywhere in life or succeed because the things the way that you try to go about things was underhanded and when you try to come against somebody the wrong way you get what you give again you know it i don't know if you heard the old saying but what goes around come around my grandma used to say and it come around fast these days because we living in the end time. So I would just I would just stop. But since you think it's going to make you great. And make you feel any better about yourself. It's not. 
We need you to focus on your business. Go back to the drawing board where people won't be complaining about your business. Get you know, get a whole new layout of what you need to do. Stop competing with somebody else. Again, get your own lane, and this world will be so much better. And you won't be talked about. You want to go out here and strike people because they're talking about you. Stop putting yourself out here to be talked about. But y'all, that was just a few of my thoughts because I'm just sick of it. You failing and you know it, but you still want to be grand all at the same time. It's not going to get you anywhere. Be grand by paying your bills. Leave people alone who ain't paying, no, paying you no attention. And go on to be great in your life. And we're going to leave you alone. But until then, as long as you keep popping up, we gonna keep popping up. Okay, y'all, my fourth and final thoughts. Well, you took the social media about an outfit. And if we look back at the color scheme, it looked like it was black. So I guess you thought you was gonna get on here looking like a disco ball, shining bright like a diamond. And it just didn't happen for you. Because you thought, I'm going to do my own thing. And they said, I'm going to show you today. So, you take the social media, whining and crying about it. And again, Satan's strongest warrior is out here on your behalf. Like, that's your spokesperson. Because we know you always need somebody to speak for you because you brought clear Kyle over here on your behalf. And you know what? It didn't work. But if you will follow directions, then you wouldn't be in the situation you're in. But see, you said you want to run and let me go over here first. For what? You ran over here first and they weren't even paying no attention. They didn't even post that day. So again, you giving somebody your energy that's not giving you theirs. It's like you don't know when to leave well enough alone. I got to be the first one to do this. Even when you got back from a trip. You had to be the first one to throw a subliminal message. And every time you throw these messages out here, I promise you, you get eight alive. And you won't, don't want nobody to come for you. Then bow down, kiss the ring, and go on and realize, you know what? I'm, I'm just here in the back. And quit trying to be seen all the time. But that dress thing, we really didn't, we didn't, really didn't care. We didn't even ask what color your dress was. Nobody had to even know you could just went on about your business. But you want to feel like, let me go out here and show that I was outshining this person first. That ain't even paying you no attention. But y'all, those are my thoughts for the day. Y'all already do. Y'all already know what to do. Like this video, please. If you don't like it, still give me a thumbs down. I'll take it. I'm just, I'm just kidding. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. You have a great day on purpose. She got the news, the storm.